What are you talking about, Kenny? What is Kenny talking about? Kenny, uh, Kenny, you got to have give me some more details on that. But anyways, oh, yes, Kanye West did apologize. He absolutely did apologize, uh, Hope Marie. Um, and I'm going to get into Kyrie Irving and him issuing an apology also. Um, but anyways, I used YouTube in order to get into corporate America and market myself more effectively, which, allow, which allow, allowed for me. Oh, I got an incoming call. Oh, no. Got my dog. It's Charleston. Yo, see, I'm on a live. What, what's going on, big dog? Hey, man, you just seen, uh, you just seen Kanye West shirt this year? Kanye West was sharing my stuff? He just shared it on Twitter. Did he just really? Just now. Just now. That interview me and you did. Talking about it. He just shared it on Twitter. Word? Yeah, he just shared it on Twitter with like a thousand some tweets. Wow, I'm going to have to check that out, bro. Let me, yeah, let so me, let me, let me. Somebody just sent it to me. Did they really? I, I'm looking at it right now. Is you? What made me call you. Is you? Yeah, is, is you and me, bro? Yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> you, you, re, you ready to take over the fucking world, bro? Yeah, yeah. God picked us, man. So I just submitted. I'm just being obedient. I'm operating out of complete obedience. Sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just obedient. That's what's up. All right, bet. And you know we linking up next weekend, right? Yes, sir. I right, bet. All right, see. Let me I go bet. and check this out. I All right, bye. Let me see. Twelve minutes ago. Wow. Anton from AntonDaniels.com is is doing phenomenal things. I'm so Hi, hey, relax. Okay. <laughs> hey, yay. Yay. Come holler at your boy. Yay. Come holler at your boy. You know, you know I'm coming for that interview, yay. You know I'm coming for that interview, yay. All right, all right. So uh, one thing that people don't, uh, one thing that people don't realize. Well, first of all, let me shout out the yay. Listen, this is the, this is the thing that I'm saying. You about to be out? You got all of that body. Come here, Jesus. Turn around. Honey. Turn the freak around. I, you know I do this to you all the time. Stop. <laughs> no. All right, go ahead. Hi, everybody. Go. You want me to leave the door open for me? Yes. Um, sometimes you got to analyze. You know, I, I do. I do do a check of my chick. Um... I do a check of my chick and all of the, all of the, you know, all of the girls that surround me. I, I bring them up to the front of the congregation, and I do a, I do a, um, I do a spin around. You know, I, I want to see what they, what they doing, what they working with, how they, how they evolving. Um, I gotta check, I gotta check to make sure that everything is what it's supposed to be and on the up and up. So, um, I do probably like once a week. I'll. You know, tell her to stand up, turn around, stop, slow it down, do another spin. Let me see what you're working with. And then I, I go on that. So I'm focused. I'm just keeping my chick where she need to be, bro. What y'all don't understand about women is women need to make sh you need to make sure that you're on top of these chicks. You need to make sure that if you keep them in line, you ain't got to get them together. So, you know. I check on my chicks and I make sure that they're good and I do what I do. Shout out to um, shout out to Jay Hunter Lee in the building. Says, uh, "Brother AD, how's it going? It's going phenomenal." They got Kanye uh, is is tweeting out my stuff, so y'all know I'm coming for it. You know I'm coming for it. Um, 
And we gonna get it. We absolutely positively gonna get it. That that video was one. You know what the funniest part about that that video that he put out? The video that Kanye just tweeted. I haven't even released any more clips from that video. Let me show, let me show y'all something. I'm gonna show y'all something. Y'all want me to show y'all what YouTube is really like before we get into the show? I'm gonna give y'all I'm gonna give y'all some insight on what YouTube is really like. Shout out to Noble Xavier. Let me shout you out. Shout out to everybody that super chat. Um, Noble Xavier said God did. Well, I'm gonna show y'all what YouTube do, and then I'm gonna give y'all some insight. And then after I give y'all some insight, we're going to deep dive into Kyrie. After I give y'all some insight, we're going to deep dive into Kyrie. So listen, look, look, look. So check this out. Check this out. So I only put on put up one clip because I said that I wasn't going to put up be putting up no clips, right? I said I wasn't going to be putting up no clips. Well, I said I wasn't going to be releasing a whole interview. Um, the interview was only in... The interview was only, only, only on the Patreon. So I'm going to give y'all some insight before we get into Kyrie. I'm going to show y'all exactly what's happening out here in these streets, all right? Give me a second. Let me share my screen with you. So this is what's happening, right? Look at where it says public. I want y'all to pay attention to this, and then we're going to dive into Kanye. I'm going to show you what's really happening out here in these streets. They don't, re they don't want me to show you this, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. Let me make myself small so you can see what's going on. If you look at this, look at, this is my, this is the Anton Daniels YouTube channel. This is my original channel. Every sing, almost every single video, right? Think about it. Every single video. Don't look at the shorts, just look at the video. Look at what's limited. Look at what's limited. It's right here. It's, it's, it's right here. Now, now I'm going to show you something else, right? I'm going to show you something else. This is the video that's limited. It's the one where yay. Now, I make no money off of this video. I make no money off of this video because it's limited. And look, if you look next to it, it says ad suitability, which means that they, they get all of the views. Now, this video specifically has, let me see. 285,000 views. This video has 285,000 views. I don't make a dime from it. That's just the video. That don't have nothing to do with the short, the clips, none of that. But look, the video. Now, we don't really make no money off of shorts, but the video, the video is hidden. Right? It's hidden. I just dropped it the other day. Now, let me scroll up. I'm going to show y'all something else. Watch this. Of all of the newest videos that I've done, what other videos do y'all see on here that has no ads on it? What other videos? Now, keep in mind, the videos are completely censored. Now, if y'all know what I did, then you know that I actually... Um, cut out all of the cuss words. I cut out the N words and it's just straight up dope videos. And I haven't even released these clips yet. Remember, these clips aren't even public. I've only released two clips of Charleston White from the recent interview I did on the YouTube. Okay. These clips are not public. I only released two, two clips total. I have a full interview, and that's why I got my Patreon. I dropped a full interview. It's fire. It's insane. I'm telling you, it is one of the most insane videos that you will ever see in your entire life. It's completely uncensored on a Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. The majority of the bag chasers are on there. Despite the fact, because a lot of people think that, oh, Anton, you're making a bunch of money or whatever. And I do. I make a lot of fucking money, but I don't make a lot of money um, off of certain videos and off of certain people. A lot of people don't understand that I put this content out for people to see. And just because it may get a lot of views, it doesn't mean that I make any money off of it. It doesn't mean that I make any money off of it. So when I put the content out and I put the videos out, 
It's the reason for it. I'm bringing awareness and everything that you do, I don't necessarily do it for money. But see, people will paint this narrative because they don't see behind the scenes. They can't see my analytics. They can't see my videos. So they think that you're actually making a bag off of it. But in reality, you're actually just doing the right thing for the people because you want to bring awareness to the situation. And look, limited, limited. Neither one of them got a cuss word, ain't got an N word in it, got a, ain't got a J word in it, ain't got nothing in it. But all of these videos that I release, and this tells you, be see, nobody will show you this. Nobody will give you this level of information. When I'm talking about censorship, they're not just trying to say, okay, well, because it's it's too forthright, it's too forthcoming if they just say, we gonna ban you, we gonna ban everybody that we don't like from every platform. And they can't do that. They're gonna do certain people at certain times once they get to a certain level of visibility, and that's what happens. But then when you have people like me that haven't any, you know, ever done anything wrong, I don't have any kind of community strikes, I've never done anything that's bad or anything like that, they get any visibility, what happens is they disincentivize you from making money off of it, which then would prompt you not to put out that type of content anymore. You get shadow banned, you don't make any money off of it. So it's like, yo, well, why would I continue to do this? Why would I continue to fly back and forth and you know, do all of this great content with this phenomenal speaker, Charleston White, and we doing God's work out here. They're deep. They're trying to organically convince you that you shouldn't be putting out a certain type of content, even if they're not censoring you directly. And so it removes, it removes any kind of opportunity that comes along with, oh, okay, well, you're going to put out the content and so on and so forth. Well, what they don't realize is that I'm already rich in real life. I'm already rich in real life. So when I do my work, I do my work based off of my purpose, not based off of being incentivized to do so. So maybe this will help some of you bum ass niggas. Maybe this will help some of you bum ass niggas that don't understand the fact that everything ain't been for money because ain't nobody making no money. All for the thing that I'm putting out the most that get the most visibility that's necessary for you to understand what's going on in society. They will say, well, Anton did this for money and Anton did this for money. That dumbass, some of these dumbass YouTubers don't know what the fuck they talking about. But just because I'm quiet don't mean that I'm not giving out the game or I'm not I'm not doing the work behind the scenes. But see, the key and the thing that y'all got to have to understand is that you don't have to always qualify or justify what you doing for other people. The only thing you got to do is God's work. The only thing that you got to do is to continue to do what you doing on your purpose. And God is rewarding me in so many different ways that I don't necessarily care about making money on YouTube off of specific videos. And I'm showing you, I'm showing you my YouTube channel right here. Everything is limited that I drop with regard to Charleston White. I'm not making any money off of Charleston. The only thing that me and Charleston do is we cook up and we put out the content. We we really friends in real life. We really talk and kick it with people. When he sees stuff that happened out on social media that got my name on it or, or will big me up or, or any kind of celebration, he call me and be like, yo, fam, I love it, bro. Hey, time, put this out. Hey, time, can you make money off of this? Let me show you. And then I'm hitting him up and I'm like, bro, let me show you what an opportunity is. Let me, let me cook this up for you. Hey, man, I got you. Let me add some value into your life. That's what real niggas do. We really do be down for each other and we don't necessarily make no money from it. We don't make no money from this. We just doing God's work. So when you see these people and they make a whole live stream or they do a whole video in which they think that they doing something or they think that it's incentivized based off of money. I'm showing you motherfuckers that I don't make money off of most of the videos that got the most views. I'm doing this because I think it's necessary for you to understand. Now, I can go out and I can do, I can meet every single criteria. I can meet every single criteria and I can do everything the right way to make sure that I monetize everything. But I want you to get the message. I want you to understand what it is that's going on. I want you to get the content. So I spend my own money. I spend my own money to make sure that I'm flying out and I'm taking care of business and I'm making people comfortable. 
My, my young boy, I got a driver. A lot of y'all don't know this. See, I never even talked about this. Y'all want to know what I'm really living like? I have a driver. Yes. On the weekends, when I get less busy, I actually have a driver, right? My driver often at times don't even be driving me. They pick up my guests that I got flying back and forth to Detroit when I'm in town that I'm going to be doing content with. So, for example, I got some famous people coming in this weekend, right? Get the likes up, man. I'm giving y'all some real game on some real life shit. This ain't no junk that I'm thinking about. This ain't no junk that I'm trying to figure out. I'm not talking. I'm showing you the real. This is my real life channel. I'm making no money off of the videos. My, I lend my driver out to take the people back and forth just to make sure. I lend my personal driver out. He's coming to pick up my car probably in the next few minutes. You know why I bought this Benz? You know why I'm able to write it off from a business perspective? Huh? You know why I'm able to write this off? Because I use it for business. I largely have my driver going back and forth and picking up different clients and different people that I do content with and different people that I'm doing business with and they may come out to my crib or they may go over to my office or I may have my driver meet me and, and then take me over to where it is that I got to go. I'm using this as a tool. This is a tool. Everything that God gives you in your life is a tool for you to then do something that's actually greater or to capitalize off of it. So when you see these just remember, the next time that you see a dumbass, the next time that you see somebody that say Anton make it, doing it for the money, remember, and you can ask the people in the chat, ask Brittany, she right there in the chat, I overpay people, I overpay people, I take care of them, and see, I'm a, I'm a real dude, right, so I don't just overly pay people and send them the check, Brittany has access to all of the analytics, all of the data, all of the numbers, she can go back and calculate and look back and, and look at her payments and see if it aligned. I give, when I enable people, I give them access to everything. I don't hide it. I don't do none of that. I take care of my people and I spend my own money just to give insight and information. I told y'all the other day, I don't just make it and then leave everybody behind. I make it not only throw the ladder down for people to be able to get back up, but I go down there in the well with them and I bring them up and I grab them and I, and I take them with me and I'm telling them the whole way, this is what you can expect as you, as you get in the out of the well. How can you not, how can you say anything negative about me? How can you say anything about me? That's negative. Look, we all facts here. Brittany will tell you. I remember when uh, my channel had went down and there was some people and it was like, Brittany was broken. Oh my God, Anton, I don't know. You know what I told Brittany? I said, Brittany, what you tripping about, girl? I said, I don't give a fuck if I ever get that channel back. I don't care if it was my original Anton Daniels channel. You know what, I, you know what we going to do? I got your back. Girl, don't worry about that. You with me for life. We always going to be good. We going we gonna to run this checkup all day long. I got your back. I don't worry about stuff. My job is to build people and give them a platform, enable them to be the best version of themselves, and then figure out what tools they need to be greater. She'll tell you. Nothing but facts. She right there in the chat. Nothing but facts. I don't go off on my people. I don't trip off of them. Complaints go up, not down. I don't come down on my people. I enable them and I lift them up. Complaints go up, not down. It's a chain of command. You complain to me, I complain to God. You complain to me, I complain to God. But you will never hear the conversation that me and God have because by the time I come back from complaining to God, he didn't got me together and he's like, Anton, I got you. Don't worry about it, big dog. We good. Keep doing what I told you to do. <sighs> Y'all don't understand. So, you know, the one thing that I'm requesting, I don't, I don't request much. Actually, I'm going to request a couple different things. I don't request much, but we're going to get into the show now. I just wanted to show you that Anton, that's all about the money, don't even fucking make money from the stuff that I keep putting out on a regular basis. I'm going to ask y'all for a couple of different things. A, I'm going to ask you to hit a like for the algorithm. B, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to the channel. 
C, I'm going to ask you to turn on your notifications. D, I want you to check out the Patreon. The link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. And that's where the real stuff is. The real stuff is in the Patreon. The whole interview uncensored is in the Patreon. And then E, the last thing that I want you to do, and this last thing ain't for everybody. It's only for a few of y'all, and we're about to get into this Kyrie Irving situation. The last thing that I want you to do is for all of the dudes that try to assume and insinuate that I move a specific type of way but don't even really know what's really happening behind the scenes, I need you bitch-ass niggas to apologize before I come down on you and kiss the ring like, like, like Kyrie Irving had to kiss the ring in order to be able to get back on the basketball court. I want you motherfuckers to apologize because the same way that you put it out, See, I'm the type of dude that apologize when I'm wrong. I did it last night. I did it to Rasan. I need you motherfuckers to apologize because you don't know nothing about me. And at the end of the day, by the end of my time on this earth, they're going to say I was one of the great ones. Let's get into the motherfucking show. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you start a live stream.